Mr Luke? The 50% increase in the number of annual training places for GPs is music to my ears. Really, really pleased to see that. But they are going to need somewhere to work. And uh, I have to say the £20 million for the hospital programme is great. But when I look at Section 106 applications for my constituency, health is still getting a tiny proportion compared with education and the environment. So can I have a reassurance from the Secretary of State that as we increase those number of GPs in the primary care team, they won't have to scrabble around trying to get little bits of money from planning applications here and there. There will be a sort of guaranteed capital budget for those new doctors in the way that we are sorting it out for hospitals. So my uh, honourable friend raises a perfectly valid point as we expand the, the primary care workforce. Uh, there is a capital consequence uh, to that. Of course, the expansion of 50% that he talks about uh, builds on the expansion from 2,100 in training to 4,000 from 2014 through to now. So there's already been an expansion, but we are taking that uh, further 50%. So the 50% is on that higher figure. In terms of his point on section 106, it's an absolutely valid point. It is part of the primary care recovery plan, uh, and it is something I understand my honourable friend is discussing with the honourable gentleman uh, in terms of the importance of getting that funding in place.